Hello, this is Joe from IC Group, and in today's video I would like to introduce the accordion control to you. It is a control uh, which contains a collection of panels, and only one panel can be visible uh, at uh, any given time, while all the other panels are hidden. Uh, the user can activate and deactivate panels by clicking on the panel's captions. So, uh, let's see how this looks like. First of all, I'll add a new project. The page application is fine. Let's call it Accordion. There we go. We don't need the welcome page. And let's make the, the new project the startup project and let's recompile this. Okay, all went fine, so let's open the main page. There it is. Uh, now I'm adding the accordion. There we go. The accordion is a control that looks almost like a simple panel, but it contains panels. And by clicking on the captions, it can uh, switch from one panel to the other. When you select the control itself and uh, click on this little arrow here, you can add a panel. What you can also do is you can use the panels collection in the property inspector. There it is. And here you can define all of the panel properties in a separate dialog. Or what you can also do is select the panel itself and edit the property, all the properties right here. When you have selected a panel, you cannot see the, the properties of the controller itself, but a click on Escape will activate the accordion control, and you see all the properties here. The first property I would like to explain is the collapsible property. The collapsible property uh, makes sure uh, that uh, the whole control collapses when there is no panel selected. This does not work in the designer, but it works at runtime. Right now, we have the collapsible set to false. If I run this application, you can see the control itself is fully expanded and whenever you change the panel the control stays at the same size now let's change the collapsible property to true and now if i run the application you see the arrow points downwards so this panel is expanded I when I um, deselect this panel, the whole control collapses. Whenever there is no panel selected, the control is collapsed. Okay, that's the collapsible property. Of course, you can also um, modify this at runtime. Also, there is uh, the possibility to add a context menu. Let's do this. Context menu. There it is, context menu, and we have to add this context menu to the accordion control. Make sure you have the accordion control uh, selected and not uh, the accordion panel. Okay, accordion control selected. Now let's add the context menu. And uh, just for demonstration, I'll add uh, a couple of menu items. Okay, three menu items may be enough. Now, if I run the, uh, the application, right-click on the control, and I see the context menu. This context menu is, vis is um, being used for every panel, but you can assign an individual context menu to a single panel. Right now, accordion panel 2 is selected. You see it here. It's the panel that is selected. I'm adding a new context menu. And this time I'll add a check menu item. And just uh, for fun, a second one. Okay, now I have two check menu items in context menu 2. I select the 
accordion panel number two, go to context menu, and now I assign context menu two to accordion panel two. If I run this application, accordion panel one is selected, right mouse click, here's the original context menu. Accordion panel three, same menu. Now I use accordion panel two, and I get a different menu. So whenever I assign a context menu to a panel, um, that one is shown. If there is no context menu on the panel, it uses the accordion's uh, context menu. Okay, what else have we got? Um, context menu, of course you can dock the, the panel to uh, the various sizes. You can change the header size. Currently the header size is 28. Look at this. Uh, I'll change it to 36 now. And it has become bigger. Very nice. You can also assign an image list um, and use this image list later on for uh, adding images to the individual panels. But I'll get back to this later. Okay, that's uh, mostly about everything I would like to show you, except for this one. Um, the selected index means which panel is currently selected. If I set this to 2, the third panel is selected. 0 selects the first one. I can also um, define if the selected panel is always the one on top, which is not the case currently. Whenever I change the panel, the order of the panels is not uh, modified. But if I uh, set this one to true, now I click on panel 2, and panel 2 goes to the top, and panel 3 goes to the top. Okay, let's change this back. Make sure the accordion control itself is selected. That is the false. Okay. Now let's go to the accordion panels. I have accordion panel one selected now, and let's look at the properties. First one is back color. I can use I can change uh, the color to something different. Oh, the color is ugly. Okay. Let's go to panel two, change the background color as well. For example, cornflower blue. And uh, the last one, let's change this to, I don't know, lemon. OK. Now when I run this application and click through the various panels, the colors are changed. Okay, what else have we got? That was the back color. Of course, the context menu. I already showed this on uh, the, uh, was it the second panel. Yes, context menu was assigned on the second panel. I can also um, I can also set the headers back color. I can assign an image. We need one. Do I have one here? No. Let me quickly add an image. Okay, I have added a couple of images here. And on accordion panel 2, I will set one of these images. Let's use this one. Accordion panel 1, and it's another one. And just for the sake of it, the third one. Okay, now we have the images assigned to the captions. What else have we got? Um, we can also hide the expand button. You see on the current panel the expand button has disappeared. That means you can only show the panel programmatically. Okay, what else have we got? We have the text. is the header text, 
and we can also add tools for example like this so you have some additional uh, buttons here which you can use by uh, intercepting the tool click event Okay, now let's see how this worked. We see the different colors, we see uh, the context menus, we have uh, different captions, we have images and some tool buttons. Okay, the use case for this control is, for example, an options dialog where you have so many options to edit that they don't fit on a single window. Instead of a tap control, you could use the accordion control. The accordion control is generally uh, an alternative to the tap control whenever it comes to grouping a large number of controls into individual panels that can be shown or hidden. I hope I was able to demonstrate the usefulness of the accordion control. If there's any questions, feel, feel free to post on our forum at ysj.net. I'll leave the link in the description below. So that's all for the, today. Thank you for coming by and see you next time.